Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the differences of energy backup systems. Either being electric energy backup system or fuel-based backup system. And I got the idea for this video from this YouTube comment that says, Hola amigo, my architect friend from the US suggested I consider solar for backup power. I went with a whole house generator because the battery would not store enough energy to run my AC here at the beach. The cost would not have been worth it. The investment in the generator is well worth it. Shout out to Mr. Mike, which is the guy that wrote this, this comment and a dear friend of mine. Now, everybody's wondering how much is the investment? I took the time to get a quote of both systems and I'll give you that information at the end of the video. First, I want to mention two things that he said previously that are as influential as the price at the moment, at the time that you're making your investment. Those are where you get your advice from and where you are located. Mr. Mike said that he got his advice from a friend in the US. Usually you get your advice from a guy or family, a relative or somebody that you know that is trustworthy, that is experienced on a field that you're not familiar with. Here in Panama, there are not many skilled labor. There are not many providers of solar systems. So it's going to be a little bit tough to make that decision based on the quality of service that you get because you have to be really, really, really careful on that system because backup battery systems are very expensive. And we will get to that later. But uh, that's, that's the main thing. Where you... Where, who do you get your advice from? What I am trying to say here is that when you are in a new environment, the information that the friend, relative, or the advisor that you're using will not be enough. That advisor needs to prepare, needs to study the environment. Therefore, he knows the issues that you will be facing. And this is something that happens not just on this topic about backup generators. It happens everywhere in construction here in Panama. I've seen it happening every time an expat comes and they ask for a fellow builder, fellow friend, a recommendation or advice. And the consequence is most of the times is overpricing based on over engineering. Example, I've seen it happening in houses where the interior uh, concrete resistance in the floor slab is equivalent or is the same as the driveway which is obviously not handling the same weight. I've seen it happening on walls that are way thicker than they are supposed to be. I've seen it happening on, on roof, on roof structures, on roof gauge uh, many times. And it's something that I'm not, it's, it's a sin that I don't blame anybody off. It's something that could naturally happen to anybody. But now you know the consequence. Over-engineering will end up in over budgeting or overpriced and because of that reason i've sensed that there's a need from a friendly individual in panama to guide you to make your investments regarding construction plans and and basic basically um, any purchase that you are any real estate purchase that you're doing so as from 2023 i'm giving more advisory services and more project management services so you have that on your side, you're more you you get that service, and you don't get to pay extra for things that you that are not worth it. You don't get gringo price, which I'm thinking about making a video of. But let me know in the comments that if you want to know about that topic. So, advice where you get your advice from. The next one is location. He says that he needs a generator because. He's at the beach and he could not run his AC. Here in Boquete, you are not, you will not have AC units. You will not have HVAC systems. So you won't have as much need as people at the beach, number one. And um, here in Boquete, people want it because you get your eventual power outages that could last like one to three minutes, five minutes. It's very rare that you get more than that, like one hour, very rarely happens. That's why I don't have a system. I just have these uh, surge protectors in every outlet in my house. Um, but that's it. Uh, 
I, I understand that people want to have their backup systems. But from that standpoint, you have to think that it's not really that necessary. It's not like you're out of electricity like, like a day. No, it's very, 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 very rare. So um, it could happen, but again, rare. And uh, that's the thing. He requires a more powerful system. In Boquete, you don't have that need. In other areas of Panama, it's very rare. I've seen that in Boquete, you have power outages more than in any other place in Panama. But again, location, 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 location. <laughs> and now we get to the investment part. First, we have to make sure that we're getting the quote from the, for, for the same items. You usually, the first thing that you want to, on, on, on that quote is make sure that you're getting quote a automatic transfer, which is the device that will detect when you're out of power and will instantly turn on the backup system. And again, we'll turn it back off when the energy is back. That's the first thing that you want to make sure that you're getting quote because for you, some people that get that quote and get the price, people think that is included. Sometimes it's not included and you have to manually op uh, turn on and off your, your, your backup system. Number two, what you want to get basically covered on your backup system is your essentials. And some of the people want a whole house system. So make sure that you provide what's the essential to the company that's doing the, the, the quote. Because some people just give you a number. You have to mention, okay, I want my, 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 my router, Wi-Fi router. I want my a couple of TVs, I want a fan, I want my fridge, I want my laundry, I want my 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 heater, whatever. My water heater, whatever. Uh, just make sure that you do that to get a full quote because you, if you just think that they are estimating that, you might not find that being included in your estimate. So let's get to the price, what everybody wants to know. First, let's go with the electric system. The The battery to be precise to battery backup system so this is a lithium lithium battery system with a backup of five kilowatt and has an approximate time it will last an approximate 12 hours the price is nine thousand six hundred and thirty dollars for that. You might say, wow, it's more than what I thought. You might say, wow, it's less. Depending on, on which country you're looking at, this could mean that it's cheap for you or this could mean that it's super expensive for you. Now let's go with the system, the fuel-based system, which in this case is a propane system. So the propane system has a 10 kilowatt capacity, which means twice the power. But in this particular case, it does not mean twice the price. It actually means half the price. $4,685 with 12 cents. Both include the same. The transfer switch, the system. But again, this being twice the power means twice the capacity as well. So I hope that this video helped you. And basically, if you have more questions, let me know because I'm answering with video every question with a very, with, with a with an interesting enough topic from now on till the next time take care bye bye